Welcome to the world of Planet Play Pals, where adventures unfold and imagination calls. Planet Play Pals exploring high and low, learning and laughing wherever they go. Rhea leads the way with her map and her grin, discovering secrets. Let the journey begin. Hi, I'm Rhea. Annika's tech is top notch, her gadgets are cool, inventing and coding, she makes science rule. Hi, I'm Annika. Finn's got the smarts, solving puzzles with ease. His wit and his wisdom will always please. Hi, I'm Finn. Kwame tells the tales from lands far and near. His stories of cultures bring us all cheer. Hi, I'm Kwame. And Emily's kindness to animals and friends shows us that caring has no end. Hi, I'm Emily. So join the adventure, there's so much to see on Planet Play Pals, where learning is key. Planet Play Pals, Episode 1, The Mystery of the Vanishing Stars. In the Play Pals Clubhouse, three friends are about to embark on an out-of-this-world adventure. Hey, pals! Did you know there's a constellation called Orion that looks like a hunter? Yeah, and it has a belt made of stars. But something's odd. One star looks dimmer than usual. That's strange. Stars don't just change overnight, unless... It's a mystery, and mysteries are meant to be solved. Let's go, Planet Play Pals! With their curious minds and a spaceship full of gadgets, the Planet Play Pals are off to uncover the secrets of the stars. Approaching Orion's belt now. The dim star. It's almost invisible now. According to this, the star's light is being blocked by something. It's a cosmic dust cloud. Ah, the wonders of the cosmos. A cloud of cosmic dust, hidden in plain sight, obscures the star's light. Cosmic dust? So it's like a space fog? Exactly. And it's blocking the starlight? But what caused it? A comet! A comet must have passed by and left this dust! Tracking the comet, its path aligns with the dust cloud. So the mystery of the vanishing star is solved! Every mystery is an adventure waiting to be solved, and every adventure teaches us something new! And so, our play pals have solved the mystery of the vanishing star proving once again that with curiosity and teamwork, there's no mystery too great, no adventure too small. Kwame's Story Tales, the story of Orion. Hello, young explorers. Today we're going to journey into the night sky and explore the twinkling stars. Do you know how many stars are in our sky? Let's try to count some stars together. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five? Wow, there are so many. In fact, there are billions of stars in the sky, just like our sun. Today, let's journey to a time long ago, to ancient Greece, where the stars tell us stories of heroes and legends. Our story tonight is about Orion, the great hunter of the sky. Orion wasn't an ordinary hunter. He was the tallest and strongest man in all of Greece. He had a shiny shield and a bow with arrows that could fly far into the sky. Every night, he would go out to explore the forests and mountains. One night, while Orion was exploring, he looked up at the stars and made a wish. He wished to become a star himself so he could watch over all the forests and animals forever. The goddess Artemis heard Orion's wish. She saw his brave heart and decided to make his wish come true. With a wave of her hand, she placed Orion up in the night sky as a constellation. Now if you look up at the night sky, you can see Orion with his belt of three bright stars. He still watches over the forests and animals, and he watches over us too. Every star in the sky has a story, just like Orion. When you look at the stars tonight, think about what stories they are telling you. Maybe you can even make up your own star stories. What adventures will your stars have? Now, Let's create our own constellation. Imagine connecting the stars with lines to make a shape or an animal. What did you create? A fish? Wow, your imaginations are as bright as stars. Remember, the sky is full of tales waiting to be told. Keep looking up and you'll find a whole universe of stories. Until next time, 
Keep dreaming and exploring. Annika's Gadget Show, exploring the universe with a telescope. Hello, young explorers. I'm Annika, your tech wizard. Today, we will be going on a space adventure right from where you are sitting. We will use one of my favorite gadgets, the telescope. Telescopes are like magical tubes that bring faraway space right to our eyes. Let's start with our telescope. This part here is the eyepiece. Here you peek through. And this big end is the lens. It gathers light from stars and planets. The more light, the clearer we see distant space wonders. First, let's find the moon. Did you know the moon travels around the Earth? It looks so close, but it's really far away. Through a telescope, we can see craters on the moon's surface. They look like big holes or bowls. Can you imagine what it would be like to bounce around in them? Now, let's search for planets. Our solar system has eight planets, and my favorite is Saturn because it has beautiful rings. Sometimes, with a good telescope, you can see Saturn's rings. They are made of ice, rock, and dust. But what about stars? Stars are giant balls of gas burning far away. When you see a light twinkling in the night sky, it's a star. Planets don't twinkle like stars do. Our sun is also a star, just much closer to us. Some stars we see at night are bigger than our sun, and some are smaller. Remember the constellations? Constellations are like dot-to-dot -dot drawings in the sky. People long ago made up stories about these shapes. Remember Orion the hunter that Kwame told us about? Orion has a belt of three stars in a row. Can you see them? Yes, there they are. You're doing great. Telescopes not only show us the beauty of space, but also help scientists learn about our universe. They study stars, planets, and galaxies, and make new discoveries. Want to make your own simple telescope? Here's what you need. Some corrugated paper or the cardboard boxes from some deliveries, a pair of scissors, a pencil, two lenses from two magnifying glasses. Make sure that one lens is smaller than the other and some strong glue. I'll show you how to put them together. Hold the big magnifying glass in front of a piece of paper with words. The words might look blurry and funny. Take the smaller magnifying glass and look through it and the big glass at the same time. Move the small glass back and forth until the words look clear. They will look bigger and upside down. Take a piece of paper and wrap it around the big glass. Make a mark on the paper with a pencil. The paper should be tight like a hug. With a grown-up's help, measure a little bit from the mark and cut the paper. Don't cut it long ways, cut it the short way. In a cardboard tube, we'll make little cuts, slots, to hold the glasses. One slot at the front for the big glass and another slot for the small glass. Put the big glass in the front slot and the small glass in the back slot. Tape them in with sticky tape. Leave a little space at the back. Glue the paper around the big glass. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now we need to make another tube for the small glass. This tube should be a bit bigger so the first tube can fit inside it. Slide the first tube into the second tube. Ta-da! You have a telescope! You can use it to look at things far away like the moon. But remember, everything will look upside down because in space, there is no up or down. Remember, every time you look through a telescope, you're exploring the vast universe. Maybe one day, you'll discover something no one has ever seen before. Keep exploring, keep wondering, and who knows? Maybe a future space explorer is watching this right now. As our starry adventure comes to an end, let's take a moment to remember the fun we've had and the wonders we've discovered together. Hey friends! 
If you love journeying through the stars with us, don't forget to subscribe and join our Planet Play Pals family for more adventures! And if you liked our space exploration today, give us a big thumbs up! Don't forget to share our adventure with your friends so they can join in the fun too! Before we say goodbye, we have a special question for you. Which constellation can you see from the night sky tonight? Parents, we invite you to join in on the fun. Why not discuss today's story with your little explorers? It's a great way to dive deeper into the wonders of the universe together. Today, we learn that the night sky is full of mysteries and stories, just waiting to be explored. We saw how curiosity and learning can take us on incredible journeys, far beyond our wildest dreams. Don't forget, every star has a story to tell, and every one of us is a part of this amazing universe. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and always keep the magic of learning alive! Until, Until next time, time keep, keep your, your eyes, eyes on the stars. stars! Thank you for joining us at Planet Play Pals. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you on our next adventure.